welcome to this week's Fridays in the Field, being brought to you by FNBO, the great big small bank. I'm Susan Littlefield, and I'm excited because we get to talk with Dan Kellner. Dan, of course, is outside of the Wahoo area, so on the eastern uh, side of the state. And it's been quite the interesting growing season for him. Last time we talked, they were getting anxiously awaiting the first cutting of alfalfa. And then uh, Mother Nature stepped in. We are going to talk a little bit about that flooding in Wahoo and the outside areas and some devastation that happened from it that took away 40 years of work. And Dan, first of all, my my thoughts and prayers go out to you guys as you revamp and remove forward as uh, you dealt with all this flooding that you got from that water storm. Well, morning, Susan, and thank you. And uh, I'm uh, glad to be able to to be a part of this with you. So, um, yeah, you know, last time we talked, we were hoping for some rain and we were thinking that uh, everything uh, was going to be dry. And uh, you got to be careful what you pray for and wish for, I guess. You sent me a text message that said we were, you know, you and I were kind of corresponding back and forth of how much rain we had got. And then you sent me a text message that said within three hours, um, eight inches of rain plus and some hail that came with it. Um, let's talk about that and what that did to your fields. Yeah, Susan, um, so we've been no-tilling for close to 40 years. And all I can tell you is we lost so much of that in just a few hours. Um, our fields were in really, really good condition. And uh, it uh, Mother Nature can uh, deal, deal havoc with you. So how do you how do you go back from that, Dan? I mean, 40 plus years of no till work to be wiped out in three hours. How do you prepare those fields to go back to that no till situation? That, that's been the issue. We have not worked on these fields for a long time. And so we were actually having to turn the turn it black, which we are not used to doing. And uh, so uh, the, the other thing, not only the our topsoil that we lost so much of, but we lost our fertilizer, you know, whether it's the dry and the liquid and it just, it, it cut down the hills and cut across the hills. Uh, road ditches are full of stalks and silt and uh, it's a, uh, it's a mess. We've got a lot of work to do, but we're trying to, trying to get back in and get her all fixed up. I talked to one farmer, Dan, who said, I might find uh, some of my corn growing in the ditches because that's where mother nature pushed it when the water came through. Yep. You got it. Um, of course there's fertilizer and chemical there too. So I'm not sure it's going to be easy to harvest it down there, but yeah, that's the way it goes. But yeah, we had in that event, um, we had 10 and a half to 11 inches and it, it was, um, I haven't seen rain like that, um, ever, I guess. Um, Wahoo was flooded. Um, it, it was just a mess. I mean, our county roads, um, it had washed out some culverts and uh, just made a mess. Well, you're talking to us from inside the planter is like so many folks, they're still trying to get the seed in the ground for the very first time because Mother Nature has brought some much needed moisture, but unfortunately, maybe a little bit too much too quick. Yep, we're going to we're going to get her done and, and get back with the alfalfa and make it a make it a good one, I guess. Since you brought up the alfalfa, how is that crop looking right now? Well, if it wouldn't have been for the doggone hail that beat it up so bad, um, it really, we had an outstanding uh, crop of alfalfa, but the hail raised uh, raised heck with it. But uh, we also, uh, you know, it, it laid down. You just cut a little slower and get what you can.